Blue's played by Steve Carell, who happens to be a dear friend. We actually worked together on this little thing a long time ago. It's so good, good to see you. See you. Oh, my oh my lord. I was just telling you guys, has it been years? Years. Yeah. It's been 11 years, technically, since Steve Carell and John Krasinski worked together in a different office, but actually, that work wasn't in an office. I just really wish there was something I could do. Jim figured out the best prank ever for the final episode of The Office in 2013 that, yeah, really took place at uh, Dwight's farm. I can't believe you came. That's what she said. I just love that this is the fifth take and you did great on this. <laughs> All right, let me try one more. Okay, okay. I think we should just say the goodbyes for tomorrow at lunch. Oh. Okay. This is the last scene between Jim and Michael that you're thinking, right? Yeah. So this is in 2011. And yeah, Jim and Michael uh, set up a lunch date that's still yet to be had. And then tomorrow, I can tell you <clears throat> what a great boss you turned out to be. I'm glad we're getting it. <laughs> this is so intimate. Best boss I ever had. Oh, so anyway, I haven't seen Steve and geez, it's gotta be. Oh my God! <laughs> Oh my Are you God. kidding me? Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Very nice. You did too. Anyway. The two are reuniting for John's latest directorial venture, which is called If. Almost every kid has one. We say If. Get it? Imaginary friend. Steve is voicing the imaginary friend Blue in the film. It's nice that they film this in the moment because yeah, we're not actually going to see them on screen in this movie. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> they still have that great comedic time with each other. But yeah. What do you think of seeing Steve and John together again for the movie If? 